on May 27th, 2020, a thread was posted about on Takahashi, the CEO of Iridori Comics. And on this thread, it was pointed out that he was making illegal pirate money while also stealing works from Kadokawa, a major publisher in Japan. And so, with this, we're going to delve into on Takahashi as a person, but also the history that leads up to the point that we're at currently. Our story starts when the fan translations, or scanlations, first came to the West in a big way. A group would come, beginning with two people quintessential to the story, Jeff, otherwise known as Tech, and Eduardo Reyes, known as EDMX in the group. They would form a team with a few more members to create Genesis Translations. Genesis Translations, or G-Team as they were also called, originated sometime in 2010, with their first entry on their Blogspot domain dating back to September 30th, 2010. On this site, they would post their works of Jojinshi that were translated, some by members named Nemesis of another group called LWB, Little White Butterflies, and Nash of Team Vanilla, for example. Often the uploads would go to sites like Mega Upload, Mediafire, RapidShare, and even eHentai. Unfortunately, after just over two years, the blog post was stopped and moved to another website. The website was hosted by Faku, the largest English language doujinshi publisher in the world. This would be important later as Jeff would see a rocky future ahead. After Genesis Translations, Jeff, or Tech, and EDMX move on to their next chapter in the story by rebranding as Phoenix Syndicate in October of 2014. Again, their site was hosted by Faku, while uploads of their translated works would appear on sites like Imgur, an online image sharing community and image host site, and GE Hentai, an image gallery system hosting uploads of anything from doujinshi, manga, artist CGs, and more. During their run, they would work with hentai artist Shindal on his work Bestiary 3, which they claim was a huge opportunity, especially being from the scanlation scene and becoming legitimate was in the sites. This became apparent, because soon after the release, EDMX claimed that the syndicate tried to resume work as usual by clearing the backlog of works they had, which were completed, but felt that the team grinded to a halt. Ultimately, their plan of transferring ownership and governing role to another member didn't pan out. That's when Phoenix Syndicate would end their final post, made on November 13th, 2016. In an interview from four-player anime cast with Tech, the now former founder of G-Team, Phoenix Syndicate, he reveals that when Phoenix Syndicate closed down, it was due to shifting their focus to legal publishing of doujinshi while working with artists directly and helping them gain traction in the unexplored doujinshi market in the West. Further on in the interview, Tech was asked about his time in Phoenix Syndicate and the non-productive years they operated between their different names. Tech explained that their lead translator, EDMX, had started med school, and burnout affected the team in the Genesis translation days, going as far as rebuilding the team from the ground up. After their work on Shindal's Bestiary 3, the team started work on their now massive backlog, which would result in the burnout of the available staff members, until the idea of changing management and responsibilities was brought up. Members of the team wanted to move with Tech in his next venture, but would have left Phoenix Syndicate in a gutted state, ruining the brand name. Instead, they decided to end Syndicate completely as to not taint their name in the Scanlation community. In the interview, Tech was asked about his transition from Phoenix Syndicate to Faku and r slash hentai, a subreddit mainly focused on hentai-related posts. In it, he explains that he didn't understand the hate for Faku, specifically during the now-dubbed Wani Apocalypse which was an event that took place by the Japanese publisher named Wani Magazine, which specializes in hentai magazines, by DMCAing various pirate sites like Sad Panda, for example. Tech claims it was done for a pre-publishing deal and had to take it upon himself to organize the conflicting intel reports. He also adds that the situation is very similar to when another company, Crunchyroll, transitioned into a legal platform, also stating that, quote, Pirates will be pirates, and they also happen to be extremely loud. 
Faku, under the name AAH, or All About Hentai, started in December 2006 by Jacob Grady during his college semester learning computer science in Massachusetts. All About Hentai was shut down due to the cost of running servers and bandwidth, but was ultimately funded and brought back due to user donations in July 2007, months after its initial launch. Years later, in 2011, Faku signed a deal with Kitty Media, a subsidiary of Media Blasters, an entertainment corporation that deals in licensing, translating, and releasing many Asian films and television series including adult anime, horror films, and exploitation films to North American markets. The deals, however, wouldn't stop there. In 2014, Faku announced that it entered into a partnership with Wanny Magazine to publish its entire catalog of hentai manga in English. By the end of 2015, Faku removed all unlicensed scanlations from the site, which coincides with Tech or Jeff's account of events. Faku, while still acquiring the licensing to magazines for their service, finally acquired Kitty Media in 2017, the company they originally signed with. After their acquisitions and deals, many other scanlated properties were effectively DMCA'd from websites where people had worked tirelessly, as Phoenix Syndicate and Genesis Translations once did. Tech would defend the company responsible for it with the intent of going legitimate themselves. Faku would find itself trying to get the remaining profit from pirates that may have some need to try a legitimate source. They would go to H of the website 4chan, an image board website with various interests and post links anonymously to direct people to the legitimate sources. Even with the promotion on websites like 4chan and other pirate sites, they claimed it hurt their sales. Faku then branched into a different sector, video games, by becoming a publisher of various hentai games, including the well-known Honey Select. The studio behind the game Honey Select, Illusion, was then commissioned to make an official English version, powered by Faku. Unfortunately, when the game was finally released, it was plagued with unstable versions due to patches being one year behind the actual version, censoring issues, and questionable translations. During this time, Jeff would reunite with his old partner, EDMX, to make a legitimate side of their own, N Shadow Publishing, founded in 2017. Its main purpose was to provide official, high-quality, uncensored English localizations of Japanese doujinshi. After the idea of N Shoto came up, Jeff began to talk to popular artists and acquired licensing deals with them for publishing them legally, where they would receive proper compensation for their work. In this process, to gather a staff for the monumental task, a translator, who had been working on scanlations before, named On Takahashi appeared and became an employee at Enshoto, along with another individual named Kana Ueno. This would start to be the demise of not only Jeff's career, but also the entire tilting point for the hentai industry at large for the West. On Takahashi, a translator in the Scanlation community, regularly worked on fan projects of light novels. One in particular was Shin Mai Mao, which has a WordPress page where you can not only read translated chapters of the series, but also where you could donate money for early access to the translations as they became available. On Takahashi's name was credited as translating the series in each of the posts for the translations by the pirate site, since it was unofficial. After starting on the Shin Mai Mao project, he would join Jeff for Enshido Publishing as a translator as well, to become a full-time worker but also a close associate of Kana Ueno and EDMX. En Shoto's employees, being persuaded by On Takahashi, pressured Jeff to take action against eHentai, another pirate site hosting scanlations, with DMCA takedowns to eliminate competition. All of this was done while Faku was still hosting sales of En Shoto, mainly due to lack of logistics as well as a storefront. Behind Jeff's back, on Takahashi and Beverly started emailing artists contracted by Enshido by claiming that they wouldn't receive money for most of their sales by scamming them, and also alleging that Jeff had ties to the Japanese Mafia. Beverly would also send emails about Enshido and Jeff to companies as well, to break up their relationship because ultimately, on Takahashi would make deals with Faku under a new company name, Iridori Comics. 
Staff members started to find out that artists were canceling their contracts all at once, leaving Jeff with copious amounts of debt from operating. EDMX was a friend turned enemy by changing Enchido's slogan on the website in August 2019 from the way doujinshi are meant to be enjoyed to the way doujinshi are not meant to be enjoyed, effectively closing down the site afterwards. With Enchido under the control of now on Takahashi, an already controversial figure for going to pirate sites and making sock puppet accounts to show for his newly formed company, Iridori Comics, was making deals with Faku to host and sell doujinshi that were acquired after the closure of Enchido, whose last tweet directs you to Iridori Comics' Twitter page, as well as to Jeff directly. During this time, Faku also had taken advantage of another website that wanted to go into the legal streaming field, Hentai Haven. July 7th, 2019, Faku takes control and removes Hentai Haven's website for at least one week with the following posts. After some time, the Twitter account of the creator of Hentai Haven posted a new picture stating that the website will continue as an independent entity with Faku helping them achieve their goal of legitimacy. Since the post, however, the website remains, but with no content within its site with broken links rendering it useless. Anime Expo 2019 took place in Los Angeles at the LACC, or Los Angeles Convention Center, where over 130,000 attendees gather from around the world over to show support for the industry they love so much. Enshadow Publishing loved the work they were doing, while never taking down pirate sites, something that Iridori would do after Enshoto's closing, going to Sad Panda and DMCAing newly acquired IPs. On Takahashi, an individual with a disdain for pirates, would go on to battle every pirate organization he could. In post, both in Japanese and English, On Takahashi criticized a manga aggregator app named Manga Rock, which was founded in 2012. In this post, he exposed their use of pirated content as well as charging roughly $5 USD per month for premium content. In the thread, he explained and instructed manga creators to check if their work was hosted and how to request a takedown, also going as far as encouraging the apps to be removed from the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. It's very hypocritical to On Takahashi's nature of receiving payment for illegally pirated and translated content on the Shinmai Mao Translations website. His name has since been removed from all credits associated with the website. On Takahashi now continues to work as CEO of Iridori Comics in tandem with Faku, who now hosts Enshadows and Iridori's Works, the company once known for being illegal. As for Jeff, there have been no further updates from his Twitter account, his last posts say that his health has been deteriorating with combined trips to the ER due to viral meningitis, stress, and medical bills. After being nearly put into a coma, On Takahashi threatened Jeff into tweeting about Enshiro closing and moving over to Iridori with no involvement. Corruption, betrayal, and shady happenings plague the industry. Companies like Faku exist to be the one and only place to get things legally while wiping out competition via DMCA. Jeff is stuck with copious amounts of debt and medical bills, while An Takahashi gets to profit from the theft that he claims he is against. EDMX, someone assumed to be a friend for a long time of Jeff, threw him under the bus to be a part of the new legitimate operation. All of this video was possible due to the hardworking people over on 4chan. Without you guys, this isn't possible. So thank you guys from the very bottom of my heart. And I hope that we can get this amplified enough so everyone can learn a little bit more about Faku. Fuck Faku.